Have you ever had a thought in your head, and in your head it seemed like a brilliant idea? So you go ahead and follow through with it. You start uh, building what you <laughs> this idea you had in your head, and then when you start building the thing, it doesn't really flesh out into reality the way you have it rolling around in your head. It should be, and that's the situation I have here. <laughs> Started doing a, a rotisserie, a wood rotisserie for the car. I was trying to get it on his head, so I figured I'll just build a wood structure. I figured I'd just tie it in, make some metal plates, tie it into the door mount dealios, build kind of a structure out of some old pallets I had kicking around. I got that far, then I realized what a jackass fucking... I got this far, then I realized what the heck am I doing? So I built a rotisserie. <laughs> uh, yeah. That wood was a fail. So I'm gonna make my own rotisserie out of metal. Set the shop here. Messing around a little bit. I took some square tubing, cut it up into, <laughs> into this monstrosity. Got a couple more sitting over here. Hanging up against the... Turn all that into... A little more progress being made. Not that weld is noisy. Okay, so I got that all kind of. That's just to line it up. All right. Another step closer. Old bunch of parts kicking around. All right, well, uh, see if we could turn this into something. Uh, there's more metal in the, in the car, too. Oh, yeah, and do yourself a favor, guys. Go get yourself a shitbox. Like, seriously. Ugh, something you don't really care about. You could use it like a truck and throw garbage back there. All the junk. Get some more supplies. Our wheels. I'll get back to this. So, the puppy from a couple videos ago is no longer a puppy. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right, she decided to come out and take a look, see what's going on. The homemade rotisserie is coming along. Seems to bolt up. I just measured it all out and hope for the best. What I'm doing now is I'm leveling the car. Just kind of half-assed level it out. And my plan is, oh, doggy. <laughs> my plan is I'm gonna measure from the pivot point to the lower beam, see how far it is. I think it's a little over three feet. Then I'm gonna measure from the roof of the car over to the pivot point. I'm gonna raise the car up just until I'm just under that distance. That way when the car turns over, the roof will be just over top that bottom bar. And then the floor of the car should be low. So I can work on it. <laughs> oh, let's see if it works or not. There's some blocks on the, the bottom piece. Pretty simple setup. That slides in there, this rotates. Uh, this one I've drilled at 45 degree angle, so I can pin it at 45. And then this other one I have drilled at 90 degrees for locking pins. Puppy dog! I don't have, I didn't build a turning device yet for it. I, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do there. I might have to put a gear or chain or crank or something on it, I don't know. What's up, puppy? I'm just kind of rednecking it. Just uh, the old simple bubble level on top of the car. I want to get the car level and then I want to raise it to where this line is just under this distance. So when I turn the car over, the roof will not smack itself into that post or that pole down there. It's still sitting on... Uh, 
Jack stands. All right, so we got the car up. She's sitting level. <laughs> and the rotisserie is actually holding the car. It moves super easy too. Like we're talking, I'm barely putting pressure on it. <laughs> kind of fun actually. And it rolls. Kind of fun. Anyway, here's where it collapses, eh? <laughs> All right, so I'll crank the music back up. I'll roll this car over and see how far it rotates. Yeah, she's definitely not high enough. It's still too, uh, the weight is still too low. I really had a reef on her and <laughs> there's some tension on her, <laughs> but Got her rolled over here, boys. I had to cut a little, I had to cut a, a section of pipe out just so I can get this in a different spot because the, the weight was too far down and when I try to move it, it, it didn't want to. So I had to play around a little bit until I found a, a good happy medium, good balance point. <laughs> All the junk that's falling out of this thing. There's that broken out driver's floor. Uh, it's not too terribly bad. There's some rust. These uh, quarter panels are roughed up pretty good. At one point in time, it looks like a wheel fell off the car. You kind of see it all hammered in here. Scary in a way. Because if this thing collapses and it falls on its roof, this car's done. There's no no saving that. I'm not going to put the, the time and the energy and the effort into re-roofing the car. I'll just find another car. Bracket business. Um, this has to come out. All this rear suspension, torque boxes, arms, all that shit has to come out. This uh, tin, I believe that piece has to come out. All right, we're upside down though. The typical <laughs> damage from ski ball this thing over curbs and through fields. I think she lived a little bit of a hard life. That torque box has collapsed. <laughs> Drove over something, bent her really good. That's okay. Drag car life, I guess, right? Yeah, this car spent some time in the field. Transmission, cross member brackets are just bent. She spent some time booting through the fields. She's got some field damage. Transmission cross member mounting brackets are just wrecking, bent. Look at that. This torque box back here is just heaved over. I don't know if you can pick it, if the camera's picking that up or not, but she's caved in. Oh, she's had, she's had a life here. All the stories this thing could tell. Probably all screaming. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of rust here and there. It's like a wheel fell off at one point in time. This is all <laughs> smashed. I'll get all the loose metal off of it. Just so it doesn't fall onto the track. All the, the loose pieces and parts. Uh, put on a bit of an angle so I can work on it easier. Uh, pulling out the fuel lines. I'll rip out the uh, torque boxes. Well, my hack goes off to the guys that do this on their back with the cars on jack stands. That is kind of a fight to get out. I'm taking it out in little pieces. I don't want to damage the frame rail, so I'm just doing it nibble at a time. Working my way. Working my way through it. I'm sure this piece here has to come out as well. This little doodad there. That guy out. The torque box is out. I also have to get these spring pockets out. Bump stop. Shocks. Shock mounts. Clean this frame off. 
because I need room for the wheels and tires. Uh, this frame here where it kicks back, it gets narrow. I might have to chopper and extend it straight. Not a big deal. The uh, spare tire well has to come out. These little cross member dealios for the spare tire well has to come out because we've got to have a cross member for our coilovers. I don't want to sawzall the floor out quite yet until I have some sort of structure built up. Like if I sawzall this piece out and then I go ahead and remove this structure I, and it's sitting on the frame rails, I don't know if we're going to have a an issue so i'm going to take care of this piece put that other new piece in and then torque boxes whatever we'll get there when we get there i guess but this fella hold on that fella right there apparently sits right in there all nice and pretty like So she goes down in there. Well, there. That's what we're doing now. It's kind of cold in here today. Oh, I don't have the heater on. That's I'm bundled up. It's, it's, I don't want to fire up the heater. It's not that cold, really. Bundle up myself and good to go, right? Anyway, um, that's where we're sitting. Uh, I gotta get the rear suspension done now. Uh, gotta dive in two feet. And then uh, we'll go from there. It wasn't this cold when I started. Yeah, I just messed around in the garage. A little chilly, not too bad. A couple hours go by and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's getting cold in here now. Oh, uh, I know that's a little off topic. This episode, not too exciting. None of my episodes are really exciting, but uh, here we are. Super happy. Build one. Build one of these things. Yes, metal's getting expensive. Just do it. Just straight up do it. It's so, 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 so nice. So relaxing. And it, it makes you want to work. Because it's easy. You just walk right up to it. Super nice. I don't think I'll ever build a car ever again without a rotisserie. Like to this level. The RX-7 is going on this rotisserie next. So easy to build too. Basically just two larger engine stands. A little T-bar. Some brackets onto the bumper. Yeah, I misaligned my holes in that one. I just measured it out, built it at the shop, brought it home and... Hope it worked. <laughs> anyway.